You know, when I moved from New York, I discovered soon that Durham is a very stimulating, progressive town with enormous character. You talk about Durham, it's about really getting out there and putting on your nice walking shoes and seeing that a lot of the stuff is right there. It's just things that you wouldn't expect in a city this size. Like the American Dance Festival, I mean, it's been here 25 years. It's very cosmopolitan with Duke and the Medical Center. And then there's 14 colleges and universities in the Triangle area. The area is growing so fast, and like me, people are moving here from all over the place. There's a new young movement in this city. Just today, I saw all these different housing developments in town and the little communities that are springing up around these housing developments that have vibrant restaurants and bars and places to grab a sandwich or a bagel and read the paper. It was stunning, but the greatest resource of this place is the people here. It's just so many different beautiful faces and it's wonderful to be a part of. People here are very welcoming. They're community oriented. People are extremely curious, interested in the world, educated people who are used to having access to significant cultural resources. We are really a major new arts institution, the only major institution devoted to contemporary art. The sort of Durham, Chapel Hill, Raleigh region we think of as all one metro area. A big part of the vision that I've had is to promote all these avenues of art and for it to be an experience when people walk through the door. On first Fridays, we'll have a live music performance or we'll have a performance art group. We have an incredible music scene, concerts, theater, the shopping. And the weather, I must say, is definitely a trade-off for the better. You're going to see uh, people from around the world here. It's a very popular place for those in the university. A lot of students come just to chill out, as it were, come with a friend and, and just get away from it all. It's a cool town. Durham, you know, it's diverse, it's gritty, it's urban. My restaurant fits here because it fits who we are. And as a consequence, you know, it always, I think, feels pretty genuine. There's never any pretense about it. There's barbecue all over the place. Do I know what a hush puppy is? Are you kidding me? That's a weird uh, question, what are hush puppies? What is corn on the cob? Well, everybody's welcome here at the Q-Shack. You know, I didn't realize so many doctors in this area ate beef brisket. We got pulled pork, pulled chicken, sliced beef sausage, uh, pork ribs. We are offering nine different tomatoes on the plate of all varying flavors and colors and profiles. Artfully garnished with local uh, fresh goat cheese. Um, we have soft shell crabs from our coast. We have beautiful grouper and extraordinary wild caught shrimp. Potato salad, coleslaw, collard greens, mac and cheese, barbecue pinto beans, fried okra. It's a grilled lamb loin um, that we're serving with a fennel campanata and uh, grenadine molasses jus. French fries, sweet potato fries cream spinach, onion rings. Grilled uh, wild king salmon with baby artichokes. Sweet potato cupcakes, uh, oatmeal raisin, oatmeal spice, pecan pies. I felt like Durham would be an ideal place to not only attract an audience, but also to bring filmmakers. Full Frame is actually the largest and probably most significant documentary film festival in this country. We do bring people from all over the world to it. We show close to 100 films. 
It's kind of like the South by Southwest of the documentary. People that you read about all the time gather in Durham to watch each other's work and have conversations. Everyone from Martin Scorsese to Michael Moore to Harry Shearer. This year we had Sidney Pollack. Um, I see a film that I've done. It's never what I imagined. It's either worse or better, but it's never what I imagined. I conduct two choirs at Duke and the Choral Society of Durham, which is 170 voices. When you have concerts in Duke Chapel, people flock there. The word chapel is a bit of a misnomer. This is a Gothic cathedral, a neo-Gothic cathedral. Don't you think it's really that? Cameron Indoor Stadium is the second holiest building on campus because there's an aura about the building and what's gone on in there. And I really do think that it's a fair comparison to say that it's the Wrigley Field of college basketball. I guess for me, as a writer, as a critic, the one thing I always look for is believability. Durham is home to one of the best indie rock labels in America. I mean, there's no one that would really argue with that statement. They're called Merge Records. I'm actually working on a cover story in a band called Roman Candle, who just signed to V2 Records. Just really well-made and well-built rock and roll. When you write in an area like this, you never feel like you're, you're talking down to people. If I'm trying to explain a piece of work by Brian Eno, I don't have to talk about the very bare bones essence of what he does. It's the same if I make a reference to a writer, or to an artist, to an abstract painter, when I'm describing how a band sounds, there is such a strong progressive intellectual center that you have people to write to and you have people to talk to when you're just out and about. I went to see the Camera Obscura. Yeah, she does the same night. Yeah. If you went to the center point of downtown and you walked a mile, I think there's four million square feet of historic tobacco warehouses and cotton mills that have all been preserved. We said imagine six to seven hundred loft apartments and all the, the boutiques around it in downtown Durham some office and enough retail and shop experience and restaurants to make it a real village. We want to have affordable places for people to live. A very environmentally friendly approach that has the history and the authenticity with the inflow of all the new people and new ideas. The future is really, really bright. With a city like Durham, you know where we're headed. You can see it. It's no question. It's no question. When they do something, they do it right. You know, we get things done, and that's what I like about Durham. We don't half step. The Durham area has just blossomed, and I can certainly imagine calling Durham home. I have called Durham home. You know, I don't want to get too philosophical here, but I think Durham has all the elements, and so that's exciting.